Hi there and thanks for joining us on Fox 10 News at 4. Today on Fox 10 News, we are getting ready to reveal a new playground designed by the kids. Our Lanise Lagan, she's not in the studio with us today because that's where she is today. It's all part of the Fox 10 playground project for the last several months. And today has been, is going to be the big reveal. Lanise Lagan is out there right now. Lanise, what can you tell us? Yes. <laughs> I can tell you it is a fantastic day out here, Shelby. I know you were out here earlier, so you were part of this huge creation. A lot of work has gone into the Fox 10 Playground project over the last several months, and today we are live for the big reveal here at Walsh Park. It is a special day. We have so many people on hand. You can see all the kids here excited for it. We've got the mayor here, Councilman CJ Small, as well as members of this community who played an important part in making this project a reality. It is almost time for that ribbon cutting. We're going to share some of our uh, guest experiences and talk to them about what it meant to have this project here. As I mentioned, the mayor is here and Councilman CJ Small to talk to us a little bit about what it means to them to have this playground in this community. As we were walking up, we heard from one of the residents here who says she has lived in this area for 50 years. And for the last 20 years, she has been hoping to see a park in her community. And she said today it brought tears to her eyes being able to see this. So you can see all of the kids are having just a perfect time. This is what Fox 10 committed to you means. It means committed to the community. We have all of these kids here fresh from school, uh, having fun, burning some energy. We've got pizza out here. We have cake as well. Everyone is excited to finally get a chance to play on this playground. That was just months in the making and it was a lot of hard work, a lot of sponsors involved here. I mean, there was none of this was here. Just imagine it was just an empty area and a lot of hard work finished off today with putting in this mulch uh, that took several volunteers to make sure that it was ready for this big reveal. And we're just excited that you are able to share part of this with us. So I do want to show you some aerial video too. If I could um, chat with our producers and our directors back in the station to kind of show that footage to give you an aerial live view of some of what we've been able to uh, create with the help of so many volunteers. And as promised, I have Councilman CJ Small here. He's going to talk to us a little bit about what it means to have this playground here in the community. I know you were here for the very beginning. Yes. So really quickly, you know, now that you see it, right, because you saw it from start to finish, you see this, you yeah. walked out and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a great day uh, for the, uh, not only for District 3, but for the City of Mobile. Uh, partnership like Fox 10 and the other sponsors that came out and made this a reality. Um, you know, the city is limited with, you know, funds, but with private partnership and public partnership working together, this is what we get, you know, right behind me, you know, happy kids, happy family, just a happy community. Mm -hmm. I was out here earlier as they were putting the finishing touches, getting everything ready. And one of the things I remembered is, you know, being able to go to my neighborhood park while my mom was, you know, making dinner. It's important to have this here so kids have a safe outlet yeah. when they get home from school. Yeah, of course, because if the kids don't have anything to do. I mean, they get in trouble. You know, the Bible tells us that uh, out of mind is a devil workshop. So pretty much the kids are very burn out the energy out here. So if they burn out the energy here in the park, they don't mean they will go into our communities or go home and burn up unnecessary energy. But this here is necessary energy for them to get the exercise and also to communicate with each other. Now we also have some uh, pizza over there and we also have a basketball court. Now I have to ask, you know, cause I can, I'm, I'm pretty good shot. Uh, are, you, are you a good basketball player? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important still. My point is, is listen, it is making it available for yeah. everyone. So you've yeah. got the teen area here. You've got a safe area here for the younger ones. It's all inclusive. It's very all inclusive. We've got the basketball court, the playground. 
um, uh, area. Then we also have the pavilions where the families can come here and uh, with kids with all age, from the youngest kids to the oldest kids, to, you know, to play basketball and et cetera. So this is a great day for, again, for the city of Mobile. And really quickly, because I know you've got to get going, but I mentioned we've got pizza, we've got cake. People who are at home watching, they say, hey, I didn't know that they had this going on. What do you want to tell them to get them out here? You know, come on out. I believe we'd be out here till about 6 o'clock on this, this evening. And uh, just come on out and bring your, the kids and let's just have some fun. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, yeah, Councilman. You. All right. So we are getting really, really close to the ribbon cutting. Uh, we're going to bring that to you live here on Fox 10 News. This is something, again, that we really took a lot of time in doing for the community. It's not the first playground that Fox 10 News has been a part of. Uh, many years ago, we helped to uh, fix up the park for a Head Start facility in Magnolia Springs, and it was out of that commitment that we said, you know what, let's do something larger. Let's do something that will make a lasting impression. It is all about legacy. I'm going to walk over uh, closer now to where that ribbon cutting is going to happen and perhaps get some sound with the mayor as we are getting closer and closer to the event. We've got a lot of people here and they are just eager to share this with you. Um, and, and one of the people who's going to be talking to us more about the importance of all of this will be some of our volunteers, some of the parents as well who brought their children out. And then also, while I have the mayor, he's in place, let's go ahead and go over there and, and, and get him. Hey. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming out. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful occasion. Yes. This is awesome. Weather's perfect. All the children here, the sponsors, and you and Fox 10. Yeah, you have been very busy. I know you've helped us in making sure that this project became a reality. Why was that so important to you and your mission? Well, this is one of the parks that maybe is not in the forefront of everybody's mind. And so, like a lot of things that happen in the city, there's got to be a champion of it. And so Fox 10 and the other sponsors said, hey, let's go to Walsh Park, which maybe have over, been overlooked for another couple of years before they would have had this magnificent playground. So because of y'all's inspiration and there's just the collaboration with the city, uh, we made it work. All right, I'm excited. We are just about time to have that ribbon cutting. We've got a lot of people gathered around here. Um, the weather couldn't have been better either. Oh, no, it's perfect weather. <laughs> uh, and the children, you know, they're so excited, but yes, it's perfect weather. Yeah. All right, thank you, Mayor. I know you've got to get in place for that ribbon cutting. I want to see if we can grab Miss Lucky because I know that she was instrumental in making sure that this became a reality here. She's a young woman that I was telling you for about 50 years was waiting for this park to to happen. I'm actually going to run over to where she is because I really want you to hear her enthusiasm. Um, so my apologies to my photographer who's having to chase me all around this park. But wait until you hear one of the reasons why we did this, I mean, this is all about community. Hi, Thank you, you so doing? much. I'm Thank doing you okay. so much. I Listen, so we're live on the air, and yes, I know you were a big part in making yes, sure that this yes, happened. Why? Because I've lived in this neighborhood for over 50 years. I had kids. It was so many kids around. We had a park, but we had no playground equipment. I really worked hard to get this playground equipment. We used to have little picnics, Easter egg hunts, all kinds of activities for the kids, but there was nothing for them to play on. And I've been trying to get this playground equipment for over 20 years, and I am so thankful, so grateful. I thank you all so very much. Everyone has been so kind, so helpful. Now, when you came up, you were almost in tears when you yes. saw this. Yes, yes. It brought back so many memories of how hard I've worked and how hard I've tried to get this equipment. But my have tears of gladness. I am so glad that we have this equipment here for our children. We really needed it. And you see how happy the kids are. Oh, yeah. And the weather is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, and I know that nice a lot day. of the kids are here because of you. A little yes, birdie told me you passed out a hundred and some odd flyers to make sure, people, make sure people showed up. Yes, ma'am, I did. Yes, ma'am, I did. This was a passion for me, a passion. And I really wanted this to happen in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I am so glad. I'm 71 years young, and it happened. I'm so thankful. 
thank you all again. So blessed. All right, well, walk on over here with yes, me because we're getting ready to do that ribbon cutting, and I want to make sure that we have this on live. This is what we have all been waiting for leading up to this big moment, a project that has been months in the making. And as we get ready here to um, cut the ribbon, I'm just gonna be quiet and let you guys kind of take in the moment. Again, Lenise Lagan reporting live here at Walsh Park. It is just a couple blocks off of DIP when you come up from the interstate. A Fox and News has been working with a number of partners, Shoe Station, Echo South Services, Palmer's Toyota Superstore, United Way of Southwest Alabama, make an impact. And I would be remiss if I did not mention the landscapers that came out here also our special thank you to Charles Peters with Seasons Lawn Care because he helped to loan us some of the shovels and the wheelbarrows that were needed to put in all of that mulch. So again, a big, huge, heartfelt thank you to everyone who helped to make this a reality. And you can see and hear all of the joy in those kids' faces. They are loving it. All right, so we are getting really close to cutting the ribbon. Looks like we're gonna have a helper uh, with the mayor as we get ready to do this special dedication here at Walsh Park. And really has just turned out to be a gorgeous day full of sunshine. All right, we're getting closer. Let's listen in. Media ready? No. What an unexpected and great surprise for all the citizens around Walsh Park. You know, 10 weeks ago or 12 weeks ago, I don't even think that they realized what was getting ready to happen today. But eight weeks ago, there was a planning session here with the children about the playground that you see behind us. And there's an excitement in the air that's just hard to describe. And like so many things that happen in the city, there are companies and individuals that have come not just from inside the city, like uh, Palmer to Toyota, Echo, Echo South, and um, Shoe Station, but we also have outsiders that came from Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and that's Miracle, uh, make it happen, make a wish. And you know, it's just amazing that everybody came together to do this, but we have two of the young ladies that will be enjoying this in the days to come, and they're gonna help me cut this ribbon. And then after that, we'll be glad to get with the media and do some side shots and all. But I'll also say this, that at the city council meeting, I made a, a very pointed remark about we are so grateful for what Fox 10 has done. All right, and we're hoping that the rest of the media world is watching what's going on, because there are a lot, other, a lot of other parks that need the same kind of playground, and I'm sure the city will collaborate with you just as we have with Fox 10. But from the bottom of my heart, hearts of these children in this community. Thank you to all the sponsors for making this possible. So, girls, I want one of you to hold this. Put your hand up there. It's, it's heavy. You got to grab it. Both hands. Both hands. Both hands. This one there. Right there. You grab it on the bottom right there. Okay, you got it? And what we're going to do, y'all know how scissors work, right? Now look at the camera up there. When I say three, I want y'all to close it, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Get it. Oh, awesome. And, what can we do now? Well, you can go enjoy the playground. What have you been playing with so far? The slide mm -hmm. and the little swing. Uh huh. And everything. There you go. <laughs> and have you had a chance to play in the park yet? Mm -hmm. What is the first thing you're going to try out? Probably the swing. Yeah, you should challenge the mayor to a, a, a race on those handlebars. <laughs> That'd be great, TV. I don't. <laughs> She's very polite. You're lucky. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, guys. And make sure you get some pizza. Nothing but smiles here. So many 
people work so hard to get this going and this is the result of all of that work. I'm going to send it back now to you guys in the studio because uh, Shelby, I think, you know, the kid in me wants to get on that playground too. I want to test out some of those swings and yeah. the slide. Uh, yeah, so Lanise. reporting live, Lenise Lagan, Fox 10 News. <laughs> you and I talked about going on that slide a little bit earlier today and there she goes taking off. What a beautiful, beautiful playground. I was out there helping with the mulch today and it was just an awesome experience. We we're so excited to do that for the community and we're going to check back in with Lanise a little bit later on and thankfully the weather cooperated out there today. It was cool with a breeze.